with the two kids, I've got, I want to show them that this is, this is part of life, you know? Um, you get uh, Delta cards, and sometimes it's not in your favor, but you can still move forward, um, still make something out of it. Brian Lewis worked at Sykes as a trainer. It's an opportunity he appreciated after working in call centers for more than a decade. Um, I loved it. In a statement, Dana Weiderman of Sykes told us, due to the recent changes in Sykes' business strategy, they are transitioning some of the services out of Boise, but will remain open. The company has provided employees like Brian Lewis 60 days of pay and benefits to help with the transition. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, Larry, the uh, site director there, is, is a phenomenal guy. Um, he's really supportive of the agents. He really cares about the people that work there. The Communications Workers of America has a different take. This organization believes these layoffs are happening because call center companies are outsourcing jobs out of America. In a statement, Shane Larson of the CWA says, in Idaho and across the country, we are seeing the damage the offshore trend is taking on local families. According to the CWA, Boise joins North Carolina and Oregon as recent places where Sykes has closed call centers. The CWA believes that many of those jobs are going to the Philippines. However, Dana Weiderman of Sykes told me the layoffs did not occur in Boise because of offshoring. And Brian Lewis says he enjoyed working at Sykes. They never asked me to do anything unethical. They never asked me to do anything that I didn't want to do. Um, and they always took care of me and gave me opportunities that I wanted. So I didn't have an issue with them. Steve Dent, six on your side.